Peggy 7. I'm Jordan Fisher from Pony Studios, and I work on programming and game design for Cloudberry Kingdom. I'm TJ Lutz, the vice president of Pony Studios, and I'm working on Cloudberry Kingdom. We wanted to make a game that was like a classic platformer that never had to end, so we could just play it forever and, you know, never go back into real life. TJ and I met way back in first grade. He was sort of a big jock at the time, and I was you know, already a computer geek, but we had this common ground where we would play video games together all the time. Ever since I met Jordan, we've been coming up with silly ideas for games. We never really finished any, um, so that'll be what Cloudberry Kingdom's for, our first actual complete title. Cloudberry started uh, one summer when Jordan came back to town. I was still in Wichita at the time, and uh, he wanted to show me the concept he had for a game. I was working on my PhD in math. The idea for Cloudberry actually came from a, a math problem. How do you make random levels? How do you teach a computer to design these levels? He showed me this little concept that he'd put together, and I, I absolutely loved it. The art was all done by Jordan, and he can't draw, so we had a stick man, but the gameplay was fantastic. Really from that moment on, I, I, I knew that we had something, and we had to make something out of it. At that point, I ended up dropping out of grad school. I moved back to Kansas, into my mom's basement. Uh, TJ moved in as well, it was kind of awkward. And uh, we started working on really polishing up this demo, getting it ready for a competition that Microsoft was holding called Dream Build Play. We ended up placing 10th in the competition, which, you know, we were, we were excited about, but it wasn't first. We were a little bit lost. We didn't know how to get the game published. We didn't know where to take it. So we really just ended up shelving it for about a year. Jordan went off to complete his degree. I went off to get more money because we ran out on the first try. I finished my PhD and I got a job out in New York, but it really just wasn't what I wanted to do with my life. And the, the sort of turning point was one day when I just told him I was quitting and really just started working full time on Cladbury. So I immediately started persuading TJ that he needed to quit his job too and move out to New York City. When Jordan first gave me the phone call that he had, you know, quit his job and he's wanting to finish Cloudberry. I, I was a little concerned, I, I guess is the best way to put it. So it took a couple months of convincing, but I finally got him to sell everything and put all of his money into the company. <laughs> At this point, we'd been working on the game for almost three years, but we decided to draw it out a little bit more and redo everything. The mechanics of the game were just gorgeous, but when it came to the art and the overall packaging, it wasn't ready. So we ended up turning to Kickstarter we got a lot of positive feedback. A lot of people seemed to really enjoy the game. So we brought on a really amazing art studio, Tiger Hair Studios. That's when our support really exploded for Cloudberry. And we took the game out to E3 once we were happy with it, and Ubisoft saw it and was really excited about it. We partnered up, and they've been helping us get distribution deals and all sorts of stuff ever since. Ubisoft has been really accommodating in terms of letting us stay indie and have complete control over our IP and game design, while at the same time really helping us focus on marketing and distribution and all those things that, as indies, we just don't have the expertise and manpower to take care of on our own. When I started working full-time on Cloudberry, I knew I needed a lot of help. We met Michael, who's our biz guy, and he really just started trailblazing for us. Me and my friends used to daydream about making games and testing games. So when I met Jordan and the opportunity arose, I jumped on it. There have been two programmers working on the project, me and Ole Kazhushnyan. We can't actually say his name, but it's something Russian. Making games is all I've ever wanted to do. It's one of the main reasons why I got into programming in the first place. It's almost impossible to make a game on your own, and it's just so much more rewarding to work with a great team to bring your game to life. TJ and I have been working on this game for four years together. You know, we're business partners, we've put all of our money together. At this point, we're living together in some guy's basement. Really, we spend every waking minute together. But still, it's really great to have your best friend working on this project and just covering your back whenever you're messing up. Without Jordan, really, I mean, I, there's no way I would even be here. I, I'd still probably be working construction and hating being in Kansas. What I'm really excited about is seeing how far human players can go. We can see the computer beat really crazy levels, but I really want to know how far will Cloudberry push gamers? It draws people in that aren't really even gamers. There's some sort of hypnotic quality to it and people just kind of gravitate towards it and that it's really exciting for me to see. I would make a game again in a heartbeat. It has been the most fulfilling thing I've done with my life so far.
Cloudberry Kingdom will finally be available in spring 2013. On Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Wii U, PlayStation Vita, and Steam.